Okay guys, uh, welcome to another uh, SQL session from Checksum. In this video, we're going to see uh, a problem that some of our SQL developers are facing in our uh, daily SQL life or during a SQL interview. Uh, so uh, let's get into this problem. Uh, so in order to uh, uh, see the, our problem, uh, how will we create a SQL server table? Uh, let's see that our table for that. I'm going to write a query, select stuff from uh, the table name is monthly figures. So let's execute it. So this is our table, uh, it's having an order ID column and a month name and an amount. So uh, this is our table and our question uh, here it is. Uh, as you can see the amount uh, is column is corresponding to a month and it is having an order ID. So the question here is I need to uh, display or I need to uh, add one more column in our uh, select list which is displaying the amount for the previous month which means uh, if I display uh, March with a value of 130 I need to uh, add one more column in our uh, select list which will display the value for the amount for the month of January here I mean uh, in the March we will display uh, the value of January also and for April we will display the value of March also like this for every every uh, row I know some of you guys uh, may be thinking a very complex here uh, query here but I will tell you guys this is not complex at all uh, we do have a function very simple function uh, in SQL Server for doing this so I'm gonna write a query select from our table monthly figures and I'm gonna display the month name and the amount corresponding to this month and in order to display uh, the value from our previous month or the previous row I'm gonna uh, write the lag function Maybe some of you guys already know this. Uh, this is a this is nothing but a Windows function, just like our famous uh, raw number function, and we also call this as an analytical function in SQL so for the analytical purposes. So I'm gonna use the, our amount column in our lag function, followed by an overclose. In the overclose, we're gonna specify an order. Uh, in order to sort this uh, data so in our case we do have a column named order ID uh, to uh, sort this data so I'm gonna use the order ID mm, sorry uh, order close order by uh, our order ID uh, since we are displaying uh, the previous uh, month value I'm gonna sort this as ascending okay that's it and I'm gonna name this as previous month value okay now let's execute this and we will see what what is our output so you can see uh, you we do have uh, another column and while we're checking the values we can see the four the here the first uh, value is null uh, maybe some of you guys already got that uh, because uh, for the first row we don't have any uh, preceding preceding uh, uh, row uh, so for that row uh, the row value will be uh, null and for the uh, coming to the second row of uh, uh, we do have we got uh, the value of 420 which is nothing but the value of the previous month January uh, for the April we got the value of uh, March uh, for the December we got value of October so this is uh, how do you, uh, how we access the value of the previous row. So what uh, what we need to access the value of the, uh, upcoming or the following uh, month. So in order to do that, uh, we do have another function called lead. Just like our lag function, we do have a lead function which will do uh, which will pick up the value from the upcoming or the following row. For uh, for so for the January uh, we will be displaying the value of March, and for the March we will be displaying the value of eight, uh, 99, 
and in the case of December just like our uh, lag function don't have a uh, preceding uh, row that this uh, the lead function will not have a, a following uh, row for the last row so in that column uh, we will uh, uh, in that row we will getting a null value so uh, just we can resolve this null problem just by adding an is null here is null here we go sorry uh, see uh, this is zero so uh, this is about our uh, lag and lead okay now let's uh, get into another problem we're facing or uh, some of the developers are facing uh, which is nothing but we need to find out the cumulative uh, sum of this data so a cumulative sum is nothing but uh, we need to add the amount value of all the month up to the current month the current row uh, for i mean for the march we will be uh, adding the january and march and will be displayed the sum of this amount and for june we will be uh, summing up all these months and for the december we will be summing up all the data and we will be displaying a value so in order to find out the cumulative uh, sum i'm gonna use i'm gonna write a query here we will replace the lead uh, with some because it's sum and for the uh, the changes uh, coming on the overclose for this on the overclose i'm gonna uh, add some more some more points with the uh, which is nothing but uh, i'm gonna write it rows between and bounded proceeding and current row so i'm gonna name this as cumulative sum uh, okay uh, so we just uh, uh, added some more points to the our uh, to our overclose which is nothing but uh, we are specified a range a range of for the rows and uh, we uh, we added the unbounded preceding and the current row which is uh, nothing but we call it as a uh, window frame bound uh, the unbounded preceding uh, will take uh, the rows uh, 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 from the starting uh, of our uh, sorter result to the current row so let's uh, let's see what uh, what is uh, output of this particular query now you can see uh, for the January we the result is uh, just uh, the amount of January for the March you can see this is not the value of March this is the sum of the January and March the five 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 not for the April we are getting the value of these three the, for the June this four for the December uh, all of this month values are and we resulted uh, with the value so this is how we do how do we find out the cumulative sum using our window function uh, with the, the unbounded proceeding and the current row. This is about our current video. I hope you guys uh, like this video and will be useful for you guys. Thank you.